Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidum by Anna where we show you a lot of interesting and useful things from Benidum town and surrounding area. Today we are back to the lovely Flamingo Oasis Hotel. They've invited us to make an update on a short tour down the installations because they've made quite a few amazing changes and refurbishments inside. So let's go and take a closer look what has changed in the Flamingo Oasis. I am officially so excited to show you the refurbished tour of this lovely Flamingo Oasis Hotel that is, as you all might know, suitable for families, for children, couples or solo travelers. It's for everyone's taste. This hotel has been closed for quite a few months and they've been doing some major changes on the inside. And today we will get some sneak peek on what has actually changed in this hotel. If you would like to see the full hotel tour, we did it last year. I'm going to link you the video down below here in the comment so that you would see all the rest of the areas that we will not be checking on today. First one, the huge spacious lobby is welcoming us. This is the video from last year. As you can see, this is how the lobby was looking like. The reception colors were like um, beige type of style. And right now the reception is painted with white. Really, really refreshing looking. All the lobby sitting areas had a red, these red sofas, red sitting areas in here. And it was really, really different. This was the main sitting area right near the reception desk. And right now, ta -da, this is how it's looking like. They've changed the color palette completely. And I must say that I just love the new design that they did. It's more like sandy type of style, more African towards what they really wanted to go this time. Has a lot of different plans. I just love the furniture that they put in here. There were some delays, however, finally it's all put together and it's looking amazing. Way more bright, way more spacious than it was looking like before, as you could have seen. There are a lot of different sitting areas as it was, so they did not take out a lot of the sitting space from here. They've just changed the furniture, added some nice touches and nice design units, uh, accessories to it, uh, just to make this place nice and cozy looking, just inviting to sit down. They've also put some furniture right here near the elevators to make like an extra cozy sitting place for families. And they've changed the color palette on the walls as well, which is where you can see that it's now more calm, quiet type of colors and no bright red as it used to be before. So it definitely looks like a really lovely hotel to stay in. This was one of the several changes that they did inside of this hotel. But I definitely feel like it was needed and it was a magnificent touch magnificent change and the decision of the hotel's management the shop is still the same there were no changes in here and just slight changes on the design as you can see more white and bright colors have been added to this place we will also be heading to check the rooms uh the club room that has changed slightly its design then we will be visiting the restaurant which is one where one of the major changes took place. But so far, let's check the room. This is how it was looking like before. This is the club room situated on the upper floors. And this was the color palette, more red, like darker types of tones. And this is how the room is looking like right now. As you can see, color palette is totally different. They've made a complete refurbishment with in terms of furniture, the colors, and basically it looks like a whole new room in here. The curtains were changed as well. The terrace looks exactly the same as it used to be before, but I just love these rooms. These rooms are gorgeous right now. They've also did some updates on the normal standard type of rooms with some painted walls, you know, just some addings to it to make it also um, 
according to the new design of this lovely hotel. Next place that we'll be checking on the, is the restaurant. Then we also have pending the huge swimming pool area and the outside terrace, as well as the upper floor terrace on the rooftop of this lovely hotel, where there's been one of the major changes I've seen in here, which is just gorgeous. In general, I wanna say that they did an amazing job and all the areas that needed some renewing let's say it like this that guests were mentioning all these areas are looking really really nice right now now let's head to the restaurant this was the restaurant before the team was greeting us and when we were walking in we had this huge open type of space with a lot of sitting areas chairs and basically it was all one entire space with not a lot of division inside of it I'm not going to be showing you the food. I'm just going to be showing you the overall design of what it looked like previously. Remember the floors, remember the overall design, remember the tables and chairs because you will be shocked on what kind of a change this restaurant made to it. Welcome to the brand new restaurant of Flamingo Oasis. How about that? I'm sure you're shocked with the new design. Look at how lovely it looks, how fresh, how nice. They have a lot of different animal pictures in here. Since the main theme is Africa, as you all know, everything just blends up together perfectly. They have brand new chairs, brand new tables. The floor has been changed as well. It's been painted, a lot of design touches, paintings. Uh, the walls have different patterns on them as well. The areas where you put the food, they've also been painted and have brand new furniture. Everything has changed in here. Everything has changed. And the best thing is that they did some split inside of different areas and it kind of gives it a nice touch more like a restaurant type of style place um, and these divisions are looking really really good they have a small bar in here where you can get your drinks for your meal really really nice um, mirrors on the walls that give some extra light however just look at this place this is gorgeous i totally love the design that they went with in here by the way they also have a specific area for club guests that is separated like with a glass you can have a name right there that says club and this is like a slightly separated area for the club restaurant here what they do have are some extra dishes extra meals extra drinks from what the normal restaurant has and it's also a different type of pattern on the walls they've added some blue green type of touches in here just slightly different design that makes it a special place the best thing that i love about this is this end room where you have like sitting areas these benches that are really really comfortable especially if you travel with children you know they feel themselves way more comfortable on these types of tables really really nice design and the change has been truly massive still gives this african type of pattern but at the same time it's kind of a different restaurant like two in one for the guests that do have the a club card or that do book as a club guest right now we're on the terrace as you remember there were some sunbeds in here just a bunch of sunbeds right now they've put some tables and chairs for people to be able to bring some drinks out here just to read a newspaper just sit down and relax and this is the main swimming pool in the front we used to have like a bridge that was connecting the areas right now the bridge is totally gone and you have some more space for swimming they've did quite a few changes in this area i must say 
the entertainment scene is still on the same place. However, right near it, there is one of the major changes. They've put a brand new children's playground in here. Before, this area was just a pile of sunbeds where basically they were keeping all the sunbeds in case some of them were necessary to put in, as you could have seen. But right now, it's a lovely brand new play area for children of different ages. Going from the uh, playground area, there are plenty of sunbeds. I've asked right now if they have plenty of space and they say yes. They're not even using all the sunbeds that they have in stock and there's plenty of sitting and chill areas. By the way, obviously last year there were some limitations on the capacity. This year, Stay at the swimming pool as much as you want, no limitations in hotel at all, so no maximum time you're allowed to use a sunbed, obviously not. Just enjoy your holidays. The Laguna Bar and Snack Bar had some tiles on the main bar area and right now it has changed to go more with the African type of style. They've changed some table design as well, tables and chairs in here as you can see and the old ones are the ones that right now are on the entrance to the terrace that we've seen at the very beginning so it looks definitely way better than it used to be even though before i've also enjoyed the design of this hotel there are a lot of people here of all ages a lot of families with children enjoying their stay. one more change the little swimming pool for children for toddlers and infants before this swimming pool as you can see was like there was, was a playground and near it there was just same pool but it did not have any toys really for children to play or something they can have fun with right now it's just a paradise for smaller children that don't really know how to swim or don't want to swim but just want to have fun in the water they have some lovely pink flamingo designed in here and a small area where they can even dive in the water basically or play which is just great for smaller children and the entertainment team is giving them some toys for the water and plays with them in here so definitely an extra space for smaller children to get entertained during hot summer days right now we'll be heading to the rooftop terrace this terrace is obviously adults only as you might know and they've reformed here also the bathrooms that you can find on the rooftop terrace lovely parrot type of designs vibrant colors on the wallpaper in here but the biggest change is this one they've painted the walls they've added a lot of plants still need to put the lamps that they have in there but it's going to be like in the next following days however remember how it looked like there were just sunbeds in here not more than that and this was how it was looking like plain white wall sunbeds and a swimming pool right now a lot of movement in here they've painted all the walls with African type of style motives in here. They've added a lot of plants. They've put brand new, huge like sun beds in there. Not these ones, the small ones for one person, but there are true beds with a roof on them as you will be able to see right now. And people are enjoying it. There is way more movement here today. And on the corner, they did a brand new terrace, like a chill out lounge to sit down, get a nice drink and just enjoy your time in here. There's also really, really nice music and festive vibes, holiday vibes going on. The change is just massive. It's amazing how this hotel has changed in the last months when it was closed and adults are able to come here to enjoy the lovely views of Benidorm, the Levante Beach, the old town and just have the best cocktails ever or their favorite drinks. As you can see really really busy and the change has made its job. I love the paintings on these walls. They have like wild animal paintings, zebras, cheetahs in here, giraffes. Definitely really, really inviting to relax in here. 
And this is the swimming pool area. They've also put some more plants. Uh, some last touches still need to be done. However, the change is just colossal. And right there, you can see the lovely Mediterranean Sea and the Levante Beach. The whole Benidorm is right there. The reception area on the exit had before these red sofas. And right now, it's another chill-out area right on this is the massive change this hotel did. It's not all the entire hotel. However, in my opinion, these were the most important and significant places that needed a refurbishment. And they did a great, great job. This was the refurbished Flamingo Oasis Hotel. They've changed quite a few most important things, in my opinion which makes this hotel even better for your future holidays. Those of you who will be visiting shortly Flamingo Oasis, I'm sure you will enjoy the changes that they've made. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in the new video here on the channel. Bye.